Dr. King knew that economic rights were the key to true equality. And he wants to ask, what does it profit a man to be able to eat at an integrated lunch counter if he doesn't earn enough money to buy a hamburger and a cup of coffee? His moral calls for economic justice are what I want to talk about today. Because as we stand here, the war on diversity and inclusion threatens all of the progress we made through the sacrifices of our ancestors. As we honor the legacy of Dr. King, we must expand our focus to include economic justice. That's why I paid off the student and parent plus loans of those 400 Morehouse graduates in 2019 <laughs> to invest in the limitless potential of our next generation. And you know what? It's working. Overcoming systemic oppression requires systemic investment. It takes more than a paycheck. It takes power and ownership. Growing up, my neighborhood didn't have a single bank, and that's true for most black people, limiting their ability to buy homes and start businesses. Four out of 10 black homes and four out of five HBCUs don't have reliable and affordable high-speed broadband internet. Without access to the critical infrastructure of American capitalism, black people will always be symbolic sharecroppers, impoverished tenants working someone else's land. 